Welcome to Rajavel Education Channel. In this video, we are going to see one of the exercise question from 12th NCRT Physics Chapter Number Three. The question is: Determine the current in each branch of the network shown in the figure. To determine the current in each branch of the network, first we have to assign the current distribution for this network. Let us consider this total current is I when it reaches at A junction. It is split up into I1 and I2. From the B branch, this I1 current is split up into I3, and the balance current is passing across BC as I1 minus I3. From the D junction, this I2 and I3 uh, currents are combined together, and it is passing across DC as I2 plus I3. From the C junction, this I1 minus I3 and I2 plus I3 are combined, and it is passing as total current I to the negative term. Next, we consider this A, B, C, E, A closed loop. Here we have to apply voltage rule or Kirchhoff second rule. Voltage rule says when the loop direction and the current directions are same, potential difference will get positive sign. Potential difference can be calculated by I into R. For this resistor, the current and the loop directions are same. If the loop and the current directions are in opposite direction, then the potential difference will get negative sign. Here also the loop and the current directions are same. Here also the loop and current directions are same. So the equation becomes. 10i plus 10i1 plus 5 into i1 minus i3 is equal to the sum of this uh, b value is equal to this emf value that is 10 volt. Dividing this equation by 5, we get 2i plus 2i1 plus 1 into i1 i1 minus 1 into i3 i3 minus i3 is equal to 2. 2i1 plus i1, 3i1. So the equation becomes 2i plus 3i1 minus i3 is equal to 2. Let us consider this is equation 1. Next we consider this a, b, d, a closed loop. Here for these two resistors, both loop direction and current directions are same. For this resistor, the loop direction and current directions are in opposite direction. So this potential difference will get negative sign. So the equation becomes 10i1 plus 5i3 minus 5i2. Dividing this equation by 5, we get 2i1 plus i3 minus i2 is equal to 0. So the equation becomes 2i minus i2 plus i3 is equal to 0. Let us consider this is equation 2. Next we consider this BCD B loop. Here, only this resistor, the loop direction and the current directions are same. For these two resistors, the loop direction and current directions are in opposite direction. So, the equation is 5 into I1 minus I3 minus 10 into I2 plus I3 minus 5 into I3 is equal to 0. Dividing this equation by 5, we get this one. And expanding this equation, I1 minus I3 minus 2I2 minus 2I3 minus I3 is equal to 0. I3 minus 2I3 minus I3 is equal to minus 4I3. So, the equation is I1 minus 2I2 minus 4I3 is equal to 0. Let us consider this is equation 3. At A and C junction, this total current I is split up into I1 and I2. And here, this I2 minus I3 plus I2 plus I3 is equal to I1 plus I2. That is equal to total current I. So, we can consider I is equal to I1 plus I2. Let us consider this is equation 4. Now we have four equations. Solving this four equation, 
we can find out i, i1, i2 and i3 values. Now we solve this uh, second and third equation. For this multiplying the second equation by 4, we get 8i1 minus 4i2 plus i3 is equal to 0. Adding this equation with the third equation and cancelling this uh, two terms, we get 9i1 minus 6i2 is equal to 0. Dividing this equation by 3, we get 3i1 minus 2i2 is equal to 0. Rearranging this equation and the simplifying, we get i2 is equal to 3 by 2 i1. Now we substitute this i2 value in fourth equation. We get i is equal to i1 plus 3 by 2 i1. Taking LCM, we get 2i1 plus 3i1 by 2 is equal to i. Bring this 2 here, we get 2i is equal to 2i1 plus 3i1, 5i1. Next, we find out i3 value from second and third equations. For this, first we have to multiply the second equation by 2. So that we get 4i1 minus 2i2 plus 2i3 is equal to 0. Then we subtract this third equation from this equation. These two terms will be cancelled out. So 4i1 minus i1, 3i1 here plus 6i3. Rearranging this equation, we get 3i1 is equal to minus 6i3. Dividing this equation by 3, we get i1 is equal to minus 2i3. So, i3 is equal to minus 1 by 2 i1. Now, we have 2i, i2 and i3 values are in term of i1. Substituting this value in equation 1, we get i1. So, instead of 2i, we put 5i1 plus 3i1 minus of minus 1 by 2 i1 becomes plus 1 by 2 i1. Taking LCM, we get 10 i1 plus 6 i1 plus i1 by 2 is equal to 2. Bringing this equation to here, this equation becomes 10 i1 plus 6 i1 plus i1 is equal to 4. So, adding these values, we get 17 i1 is equal to 4. So, i1 is equal to 4 by 17. Substituting this i1 value here, we get i value. So, 5 into 4 by 17 is equal to 20 by 17. Bring this 2 on the denominator, we get 20 by 2 into 17. 20 by 2, 10. So, i is equal to 10 by 17. So, the total current in this network is 10 by 17. Substituting i1 value in this equation, we get i2. So, 3 by 2 into i1 value is 4 by 17 is equal to i2. Cancelling this 4 and 2, we get 3 into 2, 6 by 17. i2 is equal to 6 by 17. Similarly, we can find out i3 value. Substituting i1 value here, we get minus 1 by 2 into 4 by 17 is equal to i3. So, cancelling this two term, we get minus 2 by 17 is equal to i3. Now, we have i, i1, i2 and i3 values. Now, we see the current in each branch of the network. In EA branch, the current is i current. i current is 10 by 17 ampere. In AB branch, the current is i1 current. So, 4 by 17 ampere. In AD branch, the current is I2 current that is 6 by 17 ampere. In BC branch, the current is I1 minus I3. Substituting this I1 and I3 values and simplifying, we get 6 by 17 ampere. In DC branch, the current is I2 plus I3. Substituting this I2 and I3 values, we get 4 by 17 ampere. I hope you understand the concept very well. Thank you for watching.